Hey guys, and welcome to the Hellfire Comms playthrough of Octodad a Dadliest Catch. We're in the middle of the Nintendo fun right now, at the time of recording anyway, so I thought, as kind of like a break, if you will, to cut myself a bit of slack, I'd just play a video game, <laughs> because that's apparently all I do nowadays. For this one, I've got Miri with me, who uh, was uh, with me for the original Octodad playthrough. Hi! Yes, I was. I, I did enjoy that one, too. I'm not cool enough for Nintendo games, so I get stuck with the indie ones. <laughs> you're, no, you're all about, like, Dota and, like, MOBAs and shit, aren't you? Oh, yeah. The, the fun the fun PC games, as I'm like, guys, anyone want to hang out? <laughs> um, we've actually played this through, like, um, what is it, two, three times now? At least, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we had like a practice run, then a failed actual recording. So uh, we're just going to like play through this in one go and I'll split it up for YouTube. Um, it's really just like off the cuff. So uh, I'm just screen recording right now. So I can't cut out any of the background noise. Hopefully no gang wars erupt outside because that would be really inconvenient. No, uh, that'd be pretty bad. I mean, uh, it, all, I'd probably hear chainsaws in the background here, if anything. Uh-huh. Man, the uh, the animation has like just increased tenfold from the original game. Uh, the original was free, wasn't it? Yeah, the original was a free download. I think it was a fun po uh, project between a bunch of college kids, uh -huh. and it got such a it's such a positive response that they decided, hey, let's make a sequel. And then they had the whole Kickstarter thing about it. One of the better Kickstarters, I think. Uh, it's no Mighty Number no. Nine or that Red Ash, whatever. I mean, it's one of the more successful Kickstarters since it actually delivered. <laughs> uh, gotta get used to the controls here, but uh, I've played it a few times now, so I should be good to go. Oh god, it's all going tits up already! Oh, Jesus! <laughs> get the banana! I'm trying to get the banana. <laughs> the nana! You need it! <laughs> what are you doing, Octodad? You're breaking everything! <laughs> Collateral damage, man. <laughs> there we go, now we're funky. Oh yeah, that's great! <laughs> <laughs> Can you uh, grab the balloons? I think so. Let me try and grab one. Yes, there we go. Oh my gosh, if only they could pop, that would be amazing. Uh, well, he has no beak, does this octopus, so uh, what are you gonna do? <laughs> beak! <laughs> Did he get de-beaked when, when, when he became a, an octodad, or, or what happened? Like, what, what a horrible fall. Was he born without a beak? I must know. So how much do you know about octopi? Uh, well, I used to watch videos on YouTube about Octopus. Do that? Does that count? <laughs> well, that makes you pretty much an expert at this point. <laughs> uh, I'm the person in the comments that says they have eight legs. I Source, I watched the video. Uh -huh. I'm just going to try and go through the game as fast as I can, cause as much mayhem as I can. So, um, e expect me to just, like, skip over, like, a few secrets here and there, but I'll try and show off as much as I can. Yeah, like the ties, the collectibles. I actually do not know the location of uh, the ties, so uh, maybe you can point a few out if I miss any? Yeah, I think there's a few I know, unless they were already collected. I don't know if you pre-collect them and then it, it just you can't collect them again, but... Oh, you mean like it carries over to like New Game Plus or some shit? Yeah. <laughs> what an odd concept for a game like this. Let's look fancy. There we Indie go. Indie games having reflections, AAA games not. <laughs> Remember in that previous take when I accidentally turned reflections off and it was like Octodad was a vampire? <laughs> <laughs> yes, that was that was a little bit creepy. I mean, uh, w do you want to be like a squid? He doesn't even have a beak. How would he? How would you? How would he drink blood if he was a vampire? Come on, put the hat on. Oh, it's on. Is it on? Yeah, it's on. Cool. Yeah, We're good. It's on. Awesome. <laughs> the main point of Octodad is to not let the world know you are in fact an octopus pretending to be a man. Hence the suspicion meter at uh, the bottom of the screen. But uh, I think I'm savvy enough to just get on with it as fast as I can. It's okay, I know what I'm doing. <laughs> Done it multiple times before. Boom, there we go. He probably paid $100 in TF2 for that ring. Boom. Wow, I'm, I'm just speeding through this. That's the first level done. Yeah, and you got a nice Chivo for it. <laughs> oh, it's a lot more story heavy, is uh, the sequel, Dadliest Catch. Yeah, I, I still prefer the really bad MS Paint cutscenes compared to these, but... Uh, yeah, yeah, they were pretty charming. This is the development studio. I'm not sure if it's the same guys or they upgraded. I think it's the same studio. Mm -hmm. oh, the classic Octodad theme. If you can even like call it classic. When did the original come out? Uh, 2010 maybe. Oh, that's damn. That, that's hard to believe. It was like five years ago. I could be wrong. It's probably like 2012 instead. But uh -huh. hey, I mean, it's a small team. It, it takes them a while, probably. Yeah. 
besides uh, Database Catch, which I don't think you've played, uh, what Kickstarter games have you uh, partaken of? Uh, as in donated or actually played? Just played. Um, I don't really think I've done very many, honestly. Uh, ukulele looks good, though. Oh, I yeah, mean, I definitely. Is that coming to PC? Uh, yeah, PC, uh, hopefully Wii U, and it should come to Wii U, because it's basically a spiritual successor to Banjo-Kazooie. Yeah, that looked really good. Uh, that, and I really kind of wanted to try out Shenmue 3. Ooh, yeah. That one looked really great. I remember when the page went down, because it was so <laughs> hyped. It literally destroyed Kickstarter, it was that successful. I know, it was great. <laughs> that, that was a really good conference. I can't believe people got cynical about it. Like, oh, they're showing games that aren't going to be, you know, playable for years. And, you know, it, E3 is a hype machine. Does it really matter? Yeah, I mean, I, I play, I play, or I watch E3. I watch E3 for the, uh, I watch E3 for the good games that come out. I mean, even if there's a Kickstarter one out there, as long as it delivers and pretty good to play i'm, I'm all right with it yeah i don't mind any advertisements good advertisement right mm -hmm. you guys should have recognized the kitchen from the previous game it's basically the same i'm not sure if things have been moved about though i, I mostly remember this game no? <laughs> yeah i mean maybe one day we'll just go back and look at everything from octodad one and change it around <laughs> they should do a hd remake <laughs> with crazier controls. Oh, Jesus. It should be stated that the controls are better in Octodad 2. Um, it's still trying to move an octopus around like he was a man, though. Get through that bloody door. <laughs> <laughs> but I recall last time, I think the floor was red and the walls were yellow, though, in the original. Uh -huh. There we go. I vaguely poured chocolate milk in her direction, and that counts as me doing it. And she must run away in fear. <laughs> Just leave the milk on the floor, it don't matter. Oh, it's gonna get all- it's all gonna get gross! <laughs> You're gonna get ants! I am an octopus, I don't think it matters. Sorry, wifey. Ah, man. That grill top is styling. Oh, yes. Let's cook some burgers. Better not leave them raw. If you if you leave them raw, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be disappointed. You're gonna give your kids mad cow disease. How do you take your burgers, Murray? Uh, medium rare. What does that classify as again? Uh, I believe it's brown with blood in the middle. Ooh. Yeah, cow's kind of mooing. There we go. I'm doing everything right today. Do a little celebra celebratory dance right there. And then you burn your hand on the grill. <laughs> well, I guess if anyone wants a. Fried octopus tentacles. I'm all good. Yeah. Why does your wife have a checklist with her? Oh, because I think the second level is going to the supermarket. Oh yeah, that's that's true. But that looks more like a like a divorce paper there or something. Oh. <laughs> kind of spooky. There we go. All right. Nice and tasty. Sweet. What I like about uh, this system is it, the the burger snaps to the bun instead of you having to like precariously put it on. Yeah, that's really nice. Cause that that would that would be that would be hell, man. There's a tie on top of that. Uh, on top of that roof. Uh, I don't want to try and climb up because I should I should say the final boss of the uh, the first Octodad game was essentially a step ladder. Climbing is the hardest thing you can do in the game. Well, in the first game, it was the hardest thing you could do. There's there's a few other things in the second game that are a little bit harder. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> we'll get to that. Like getting this lawnmower out of the garage. It's okay, I got it. Let's weed right, the we garden. Get... Yeah. The, the yard. <laughs> get Americanized. What? Here we go. I want British Octodad in the next game. Does, does, does he get a monocle? Well, he had a top hat in the first level, so why not? I, I would I wouldn't mind a uh, top hat monocle octodad. I like the really grey city in the background that you never see again. <laughs> we just had to put something there, you know. Yeah. Flesh out the world, bit of world building. Hmm. Okay, I'm not as fast with this, but you're gonna have to bear with me. It's all right. We believe in you. <laughs> Can't I ride on one of those fancy motorized lawnmowers? Get your tentacle stuck underneath it in the blades. Yeah, oh. Turns into a horror movie. <laughs> oh, Jesus. I'm slowly getting there. Slowly getting there. I believe in you, Tom. You can do it. Why does this one family have so many balls? 
Uh, the kids kind of forget they have them each time they go to the store, so they buy another one. How rich is this family, then? Uh, who knows? Maybe they're millionaires. I mean, he's got a fancy suit he wears every day. Not everyone can afford a suit to wear every day, you know? Well, maybe it's just the one suit. You ever thought of that? Well, maybe. <laughs> it could be. Okay, we're finally done. Now we just gotta do some weeding. Get that 420 kush! <laughs> Try not to step in the flowers or your suspicion meter will go up. Which, you know, that, that seems pretty hard to do. Uh -huh. Step in those flowers. Like... <laughs> well, I'll find a way, don't you worry. <laughs> Gonna reach! <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> pick up the dandelion. I wish weeds were really that easy to pull. They're not. <laughs> no. It requires a lot of force. To hell with you, gnome. Hey look, a tie location. Oh, right there, in the corner. Yeah. I think we got two or three ties the first time we played. I think it tells you before the beginning of each level how many ties you've collected for that uh, part of the level. Yeah. I think we had two for this one, yeah. Okay, cool. Not bad. Chop up some firewood. Oh, this one's easy. It's the weeding that's the hard part. I, I think the lawnmower's the hard part. <laughs> yeah. So, so they can afford all those bouncy balls, but they can't afford a ride-on lawnmower. <laughs> Middle class Octodad family. Blubbing intensifies. There's like three voice actors for this whole game. Do you realize that? Yeah, it's great. So I, I guess the same person who plays some of the adult NPCs maybe plays the, the son as well. They could probably just do the, like, raise the pitch on it. Uh -huh. Okay, I think left arm is like... In and out, and then like right arm is shake it all about. Or in, stick. Yeah, it, yeah. In multiplayer, uh, one person controls one side of the body while the other person controls the other, and it's intense. <laughs> That's an SG or a GDQ run, I should say, if ever I've heard one. That'd be an amazing run. Did you catch that this year? I, I there was I didn't like I was going to, and then I kind of forgot about it, and I and then there was no games that I really wanted to see run. Lost Levels was pretty good. Not Super Mario Bros. Mm. I caught the uh, Tetris. That was intense. Oh yeah. Alright, drop that. Gotta put the birdhouse up. If it occasionally stutters, by the way, I apologize. I'm just like straight screen recording off Steam. You're enjoying time with your family? No, fuck you! <laughs> to hell with you, Octopus. Just play the bat. Do not let go. And... See, why can't you just borrow his lawnmower if he's your neighbor? <laughs> Wait, does he live near to Octodad, or is he just stalking him? Well, how else would he get in the backyard like that? Good fun. Big lawnmower. Hmm. He's kind of frozen there. They didn't really animate anything else. I have a for the whole There's dolphins on that mug. Ketchup? Do you like ketchup on your burgers? No, I like fall behind on my burgers. <laughs> I know you think aquariums are festering. Ooh. This is like... Iniquity, but I've got Ooh, the aquarium. Can't you make an exception this time? Isn't that like a prison for an octopus? Mm, not really. I mean, free food and you don't have to do much for it. That's... that's kind of prison still. <laughs> <laughs> there was a... there was an octopus at a nearby aquarium that plugged up its filter and caused a whole bunch of damage over the weekend because no one was there, apparently. That, so <laughs> that sounds like a GTA mission. That sounds amazing. Grand Theft, Grand Theft Octo. <laughs> be thankful there's no driving mini game because you saw what I did to the garden. I think it would be chaos on the roads. I want it. <laughs> the sun just wants vague disappointment, or maybe a sense of happiness for once. 